Okay, so welcome to the next part of the cryptography activity pack. The next cipher we're going to cover is a transposition cipher. So all the ciphers that have been covered so far work by changing the letter to be either another letter or maybe a symbol. Whereas this time how it works is we keep the letters the same but we just jumble up the order of them. So when we reorder them, we follow a given rule and it basically creates a very hard anagram and it's difficult to break because you don't know how they're jumbled up. So a Ralphant cipher is the first transposition cipher that we're going to cover and it works by being able to write out a message in a zigzag like pattern on a certain number of rails. Then the second part we do then is we read along the rails. So with the example at the bottom, it would be T A T G from the first rail. And then the second rail would be H S S E M A E and so on through the rails. Then the third step would be that the receiver then would receive this message, the jumbled up letters, and they would write it back across the rails and then be able to read it in this zigzag like pattern. Um, so the key that we have for this then is the number of rails. So the step we're going to focus on then is this step three, which is actually when we receive the message, how we write it out and how we decrypt the message. So the decryption work process works is one way to do it is to highlight the spaces that we need for our zigzag pattern. Then we can replace the first um, highlighted space in the first row with the first letter from the ciphertext. Then we can replace the next highlighted space in the first row, so the space next to it, and then we can finish this first row. Then when we get to the end of the first row, we need to then go to the next row. And then we can fill that row with each of the following letters in the ciphertext and keep doing it row by row, so filling all the rails. Um, once we've done that, they, we can then read off the secret message in the zigzag-like pattern. I know this is really confusing, so we're going to go through an example, so hopefully you'll understand it a bit better. So if I have this as my secret message, obviously it's really, really hard to understand and we don't know what it is. Um, our key would be four, so I need four rails. The first step then was to highlight where the boxes would be filled. So you can see I've highlighted my zigzag pattern and then you can see that there's four in the first rail, then there's seven in the second rail, etc. Then I want to take the first letter from my ciphertext and put it in the first highlighted box in my first row. So that would be the letter T and you can see it's in the first box. Then I'm gonna take the second letter in my ciphertext, which is A, and put it in the second highlighted box in the first rail. Then I'm gonna keep doing this for every single letter in till we filled our first row. So the next letter is T, so that's gonna go in the next space. And then the next letter following that is G, so that's gonna go in the final one in the first row. I've now filled my first row, so I now need to move on to my second rail. Um, so my second rail would be my second row, so the next letter is H, so that's going to go in the first one. Then I continue with S, S, E, M, A, E. I can then do this then for the third and the fourth row. So if I take the third rail, then I my next letter is I, I, E, R, and then I've got E and S, so that's my third rail finished. And then I've got my final row with the final three letters, S, C, and S, so they go in as so. Now I've written out my whole message, then I can read the hidden message by reading down the zigzag. So we can see it says, this is a secret message. So there we go, we've decrypted our secret message. Have a go now at the worksheet below and see if you can decrypt the secret messages. Once you think you've got them all, have a go at entering your answers in the quiz. Good luck.